god, this is crazy. New vlogging camera, new me. What's up? It's a lot. What if all the pieces don't fit right? Just take one step down the door. I think I'm actually stupid because I just got back from vacation, my first vacation in like two years and I brought my vlogging camera and I got there and it was broken. I'm back in LA. I'm sitting in the Best Buy parking lot and I'm vlogging on my new Sony vlogging camera and I literally feel even more stupid because I came here thinking that a new vlogging camera would be like $200 or less and I was like that's okay that's a reasonable investment. I got here and like the average vlogging camera is like $650 to $800. So I just spent so much money that I literally didn't even have. But now I have a vlogging camera and I'm ready to be back in the driver's seat. I'm literally in the driver's seat right now. I finally got a car a few weeks ago. Um, I'm just ready to be back on YouTube. There's a bunch of stuff in my life happening right now that's really exciting and of course I just want to document it and have it for memories. Today I have to shoot for Calvin Klein and Redone just like at home DIY shoot it yourself kind of vibes. So I'm gonna go pick up Tyler Masahiri. Everyone loves him. I love him. Um, and we're gonna go around and shoot I'm gonna vlog more and I just have a lot of prep to do because in like 10 days I'm going to Milan for the first time and I'm gonna walk in Milan Fashion Week and I'm also getting a makeover for this fashion show. I don't want to say what we're doing but there's just a lot of really crazy things in my life on the horizon and so I'm back on YouTube and we're gonna share it all. Yeah, I need to get on the road. I'm not gonna vlog and drive. That's why I'm sitting in the parking lot. But I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Hi, I'm with Tyler. Hello, hello. And we just drove to the Arts District downtown. We both have six looks of fashion stuff that we have to shoot. So we're just gonna take turns, swap out and get these looks shot, get our work done, get the content in, Ugh. and it'll be lovely. Going back to Silver Lake because I have another top being messengered to my apartment, so. First word problems. Ah. I hope everyone's having a great day. I hope everybody's having a ball. <laughs> So we're at Lily's house. This is Lily. Hi. Hi. And Sarah's here. And Sarah just gave birth to her son. Do we look alike? Resemblance? This is Tyson and Sarah. Ah! Say hi, vlog. Say I'm a vlogger. Yay. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know if this lighting is for me, but I haven't shown this to YouTube yet. We have the Ultra Fergola mirror. Mirror, mirror, ultra for girl and mirror. Before I get hate comments about living in a house with this mirror, it does not belong to me. I did not buy it. It is a beautiful piece of art that I happen to live with and I'm so grateful. Anyways, my camera ran out of storage today. So the vlog kind of ended at Lily's house, but I actually just got back from there. It's 10.10, making chicken fingers and sweet potato waffle fries. I actually have to reshoot two looks from Redone tomorrow because they want more of a nature vibe. And like in this whole day of shooting, they kept like praising my modeling but they were just like the location needs to be better so this is my dinner chicken tendies sweet potato waffle fries ketchup and barbecue six flags cup that's all okay i'm gonna go watch gilmore girls and eat this and i'll check in tomorrow for another day of shooting and 
I'm back. It's another day. I was gonna say good morning, but it's 12 17. Um, I just put on some makeup for the day and I have to go drop off yesterday's film, like the film that we shot yesterday. And then I need to go to Petco, get cat litter and cat food for my child. Here's Clemmy. The people of the internet miss you. Say hi. Oh, he's shy. Hey, hi friends. I just made it to West Hollywood safely. I dropped off my film. Anyways, I'm here to meet Tyler and Marcus for their apartment viewing. The street is really cute, so I'm really excited about this. I hope that they like it. I feel like I'm on House Hunters right now. Um, but I'll bring you guys in and vlog some stuff because it'll be fun. Is this the vlog? Are we vlogging? Yes, yeah, another day, another vlog. Uh, today we are touring apartments. I know it's cheap. That house that we checked out, if they could just rent it out of the kitchen, it would just Mukbang! Welcome back! We're in the car and we're eating Wendy's. Day two. You in the same red sweater. You're doing a redo. If you don't dip your fries in your Frosty, what the hell are you doing? What's even the point of going to Wendy's? I just ate a son of a Baconator and we're on our way to the park to shoot, to reshoot my job, because we didn't do a good enough job yesterday. <laughs> How glamorous is this? I feel like every other, like, YouTuber's like... My life is perfect, well, I'm also, just going out to Earth Cafe. Just got done getting my pressed juice, um, I'm on this cleanse right now, <laughs> like... Meanwhile, yeah. people are like, you are terrorizing LA, get the fuck out of our city, we hate you. And I'm literally just over here like, teehee, at Wendy's. Our lovely friend Marcus, who you saw a little peek of touring the apartments, is also on his way there. But he had to drop off keys for another friend. So it's just us on the road right now. Dolan Twins, their way cart, their offices are like, I'm doxing everybody. I'm like, this is where everything goes. It's not like a business that they own. Wait yeah. Part. Oh my god. I did not think any of these horses were real. Wait. Show them. Hey, what's up, you guys? Horses. <laughs> horses. Hi. Ugh, not this. <laughs> I shouldn't say anything. I'm going to dox myself. <laughs> okay, team. We just made it to Elysian Park. Um... It's so fucking pretty and so nice out, and if Redone thinks that this isn't nature, then I don't know what is. Marcus is stunning. Um. Ooh, we got that BTS moment. Hashtag ad. Arg. Ooh. Lunches. <laughs> yeah. With the tag still on the shirt. <laughs> Kendall, Kendall! Is that you? Kendall? Kendall? Raising her shirt. Raising her shirt. I'm done. Stop. Um, I don't know who does Zara's PR, but I just got home and I have a huge package from them. So Zara Beauty is dropping soon and they sent me this beautiful box. And inside there's... Voila, all of this stuff, so minimal, love it. This little haul. There is no beauty, only beauties. Thanks to Fabian Barron, Zoe Gertner, all these people, Stephen Mizell, Mario Sorrenti, David Sims. And then a note from Diane Kendall, who I believe created the collection and is Zara's makeup artist. I'm really excited about this. All of this has not been released yet. Maybe it has by the time this video comes out, but. I'm pretty excited to try all of it. Good morning. It's Saturday and I look like it's Saturday, if that makes sense. I'm back in the car 
and I'm doing literally the same thing as yesterday morning. I'm going to drop off the film from the day before. <sighs> okay, I just got home. I can explain the situation. Basically, as you saw, I was going to go drop off my film to get it developed. I so lightly tap this woman's car, like tap her bumper, so lightly, because I'm obviously inching forward, like I'm going probably three miles an hour. But of course this woman is like literally standing next to her car, so she sees it and makes the biggest deal out of it, like starts berating me, screaming at me, she's yelling at me on the street that I like fucked up her car. So I get out, look at her car, I'm like, I literally don't see damage, like, there are barely any scratches on this, and, like, they're all over the place, like, they're spread out, like, I did not do this by tapping my car that lightly, but anyways, she's fucking screaming at me, and walks me to an ATM, and is like, you need to pay me $200 right now, $200 is not gonna fix the scratch on her car, or any of the fucking damage that was already there. I'm pretty sure she just like wanted my money, which is fine. I'm sure she needed it more than I do, which is what I'm telling myself. It just sucks because that was literally like the last $200 in my account and I have no idea when I'm gonna get paid again. And I just like, mm, it was really fucking overwhelming. I think more than anything, it was just overwhelming to be yelled at like that. I've never been in like a fender bender or like a real car accident before. So I was just like, like what, what do you want from me? Like, I don't know. Okay, so I'm feeling better now. I talked to my parents. They agreed that this woman scammed me a little bit. My parents agreed that I should have let this woman call the cops because they would have sided with me and been like, there's no damage here, ma'am. Um, but I hate cops, so I was not about to have them get involved, so I gave this woman my money. Anyways, my room is a nightmare right now, so I'm gonna clean it. can see my floor again uh, um i need to vacuum but all of the surfaces are cleared off i just got this rolling tray <laughs> from society six it's stoner barbie which is what i like to call myself um uh, i don't think so it's a little room tour moment just got this planter from urban outfitters i need to get like an actual big plant to go in it this bookshelf is from Urban Outfitters too. I just organized it. I have to get rid of these boxes, but these are from Calvin Klein, Hair and Preston, PR. I have my outfit for tonight laid out. This is, I'm going to a Great Gatsby themed party. So that's what I'm wearing for my friend Natasha's birthday. And then this is the Calvin stuff I have to reshoot because the film <laughs> didn't come out the way I wanted it to. Never in my career have I had to reshoot before and then this week i literally have to reshoot two projects so love that for me but it's fine i love photography i love modeling so it's fine i go take a shower and then i'm gonna get ready for the studs event sophia is currently vlogging for me while i drive and i'm wearing a mask in the car with her even though we're fully boxed because i'm hiding a pimple patch um Anyways, we're driving to West Hollywood. I've recollected myself after my kind of traumatic morning. Sophia and I are going to the grand opening of Studs, which is a piercing studio. They're opening a, I don't know if it's a pop-up or a permanent store, but they're opening a piercing salon in LA and we're going and we're gonna get fun little ear piercings. And the good vibes are back and we're back with the vlog, so 
no need to fear. Hello everybody, welcome back to my vlog. Tyler Today we are at Stuz, which is opening on Melrose next Wednesday. Everybody come through. Apparently. <laughs> We're about to get piercings. There are options for folks that we can have punishment or guarantee. I'm doing. That's also sick. That could be fire though. I think I'm gonna or do her. 8 and 12. That's what I'm doing. Wow. Yes. Yes. Swift, I definitely need that one. And that one. Where are you going with? Trigus. Okay. My mom's gonna be so close because she was like, never get your tragus, it'll paralyze your face. Why? Wait. Because my mom's a hypochondriac. They're like twitching because she's like. That could be only the Excited or nervous? Which one is weighing heavier? Excited? Yeah. Okay, right answer. Hi vlog. This is really awful. Um, but I'm going to party. It's my friend Natasha's B day, and this is the look for tonight. <clears throat> um, my dress is from Zara, but I bought it secondhand at Buffalo Exchange. Shoes are the. <laughs> Marjella tabby pumps with like the small heel. They're like Mary Jane's. Um, my bag is from a brand called Nanu, N-U-N-O-O. -O. My hair is from Amazon.com. So yeah, my SSRI is Prozac. And this is the makeup look for tonight. And if I don't get any more footage, happy birthday, Natasha. Okay. Bye. Good morning. <laughs> it's Saturday. Or no, it's Sunday. Oh my god. Happy Sunday. I don't have the Sunday scaries, but I am hungover. So that's how I'm feeling right now. I don't know what's happening today, but I think I'm gonna see Mary and Harry because they're visiting LA and got here yesterday. So I hope I see them and we do something cute for the vlog. There's a cat trying to get into my room. Sophia's making breakfast. Mary and Harry are visiting from New York. Hello. Wyatt is visiting from Chicago. Sophie just got back from Hawaii and I just finished my work for the week, so. Hey. That's all. Sorry for party rocking. But actually though, sorry for forgetting my camera in Harry's car. Yesterday would have been such a good day to vlog too, which is why I brought my camera. And then I just, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna look up where Target is and then um, go because I really want to get a desk to do work at, so. Yeah, just got to Target and I realized Mary yesterday gave me my stimulus checks that got mailed to New York. So I could I could have some retail therapy. Let's go. Let's go see what we find. I'm gonna get copyrighted for Demi Lovato, but I like this desk. It's 120. I like the Rattan detailing. And they have one. I just don't think I'm strong enough to carry it home. I didn't buy anything. I hope my mom watching this is really proud of me. I only got a frappuccino. I don't know if I should go somewhere else because I was unsuccessful or if I should just go home because I was unsuccessful. I just don't know. I just don't know. I wish there was an Ikea not in Burbank. That's how I feel. Made the plan to go to a thrift store. So now I'm parked outside of 
out of the closet, which I came here when I was first moving and got like a bunch of kitchen stuff and just like cute clothes. So I think this will be fun just to look around. I go inside now and peruse and see if they have a cooler vintage desk um, or maybe I'll just get some clothes, who knows. But I love retail therapy, so that's all that matters. I want those. No dice otherwise. It's haul time, car time, haul time. So I realized that I have to be pretty careful in terms of clothing that I'm buying because like I said earlier in this vlog, when I go to Milan next week, I'm getting a makeover. And so they're completely changing my hair. I do have an idea of what they're doing and if you want to guess, leave a guess down in the comments below. The next vlog will have me getting my makeover done, but leave a guess down below. I had to be pretty careful about clothing shopping in terms of buying clothes to wear in Milan that will match my new hair. Yeah, I'm going to show you what I got. First thing is this dress. It's like a little polo short sleeve black mini dress and I got it because like the buttons are so freaking cute I just thought it was like a cute little sporty preppy look the next thing I got was a blouse or like a button-up shirt from Beverly Rose USA and I got it because the polka dot print reminded me of Gautier like Jean-Paul Gautier um and I thought this color would look really good with my makeover once I get it so yeah the blue will be fun and i got this sweater from nasty gal um it just reminded me of something dickie greenleaf would wear in talented mr ripley i feel like dickie greenleaf would have a sweater like this um and i always said that i wanted my boyfriends to dress like dickie greenleaf because he dresses so well but now i'm just like i should dress like him because i don't have a boyfriend and i don't need one i will be my own i will be my own boyfriend and then the last thing that I got is so that I can do like a little bit more of like a grunge vibe and it's just this plaid silk slip dress. Didn't have a tag on the inside but it was $12 and I want to wear this with my over the knee Doc Martens and yeah do like a super grungy look. Hi Ella's fans, we're here in Hollywood Hi. and we're making our dreams come true. Watch out for our next short because it's going to blow your mind. Yeah. We just had a little meeting to talk about a really fun video project. Really fun video project. And you're all just gonna have to wait and see how awesome it is. It's gonna be great. <laughs> okay, great vlogging. Thank you uh, so much. Wait, did you have anything to add? No, I'm good. Aaron did it for me. Aaron did it. No! Bitch. Do you like my Demois merch hat? Anyways, that last clip was from a meeting with this girl Erin who I met through Frank she's like such a talented director and videographer and we're gonna make a really awesome fashion film together which I'm really excited about but yeah that was a week in my life I think I'm gonna end the vlog here it's been a full week since I started it so thanks for coming along on a week in my life I'm leaving for Milan in like 72 hours, so I'm gonna start working on editing this vlog and starting the next one. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please make sure that you're subscribed so you can see my Milan adventures and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you're happy that the vlogs are back and I will see you in my next video. Bye.